Good morning, everybody out there, and welcome back. Yeah, sorry about last night. I know it was uh, ending. It ended up kind of abrupt, but I was uh, editing videos, and a friend called out and said, "Hey, let's uh, go have some drinks, have some fun," and it turned into a long night. I'm barely just waking up now. I think it's like 10:30 a.m. I've been up for a little while, but still a lot later than usual. And uh, yeah, just going with the flow today. Um, I see my email inbox is already filling up. Got a lot of work to do, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so entrepreneur tip of the day. <laughs> so if you guys were watching last night or saw last night or know anything about it, yesterday, I did a lot of work. I, in fact, I was doing so much work, I was just catching up. And um, I went to bed late on purpose. You know, because again, I was just working, working, trying to hustle, see if I can just rest and sleep, you know, through the night. Um, so that today I had a clean slate so that I can work on other things. But sure enough, um, just like I've learned from the chef industry. You know, Bro, what the, what the fuck are you doing up there? You're, you're literally, you know, trying to cook yourself or something? What the hell's going on here, bro? Jesus, can't get a fucking break, you know? And by the way, the phone's still ringing, I got a horse to deal with, horrible, horrible. You know, being in the restaurant industry, I mean, um, it's never done, in fact, um, you know, I wake up this morning and my inbox was full, my WhatsApp was full, and all kinds of things were full, you know, of what? You know, clients, more work, more things to do, and so on and so forth. So, if I would not have worked so hard last night, then guess what? Today, I will be pulling out my hairs for real. But, and, and you know, since I was able to catch up and do all that work, now this morning, sure, I woke up and I just wanted to chill, but then I see my inbox full and I see everything, you know, all these jobs that I gotta do, and I'm like, well, Damn, I'm glad that not only did I do that already, but now I have plenty of time to knock all this out. So you already know, back to work. All right, so I'm out and about. I have to come to the store real quick because uh, I'm gonna be cooking something later and I completely forgot I'm missing something. So I'm trying to take care of that right now. Fuck, it's hot. Okay, I'm actually just in the store for a minute. Um, just trying to get some AC before I head back out there to that fucking sauna. It really feels like Miami out there. It's not good, man. So, you know, there is AC in here in pretty much every other building. It's even cooler in here. I just came from in there. But look, if you guys want to see, you know, they sell everything just like they do with every other spot. Okay, no more loitering. I gotta get the fuck out of here, all right? <laughs> but thanks for the free AC, though. Really appreciate it. So as you can see, it's very little shade. There's a little bit of shade that just came out, but for the most part, there's no shade. It's no bueno. The only reason I'm really complaining more about the heat than anything else is just to emphasize the fact of the humidity. How the humidity just fucks everything up. You know, whether it's it makes things just a million times hotter, um, fucks up the electrical equipment, a million things. Humidity and hot, no bueno. And um, again, look, I mean, I can't even record as good as I normally would. I've recorded before in other places way hotter, but that humidity, it's like I feel like I'm getting punched in the face by the heat, literally, every, as I'm walking. <laughs> Well, I definitely do have some plans for tonight. I'm not quite sure with who just yet, but definitely some plans. So, you know, I've just literally been just getting, you know, all my stuff together, you know, work-wise, uh, just organizing and so on and so forth, so that tomorrow morning I'm ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I definitely need a haircut soon. It's way too hot. It's like 7 p.m. and it's 93 degrees. And uh, so we're having hot summer nights in spring, winter, whatever the fuck we are. It's hot. The one positive aspect of all this heat, I have noticed that my tender and all those other things are uh, certainly blowing up. So, yeah, buddy. I mean, I got three on deck for tonight just alone. Fuck yeah. 
it's not just Tinder, you know, they're just coming out of the woodwork, old friends, so on and so forth. Just friends, guys, you know, just friends. Right? Get your minds out of the gutter. But that's, you know, the point is that, you know, there's a lot of abundance coming, you know, um, whether it's from you guys, it's from them, from the universe, it's awesome. Yeah, I just uh, saw those two cats uh, that were fighting, and um, yeah, as soon as I put the camera on them, they were like, uh-oh, yeah. and they ran away. All right, anyways, I'm on my way to go see my friend. Just uh, hanging out, waiting. She should be here shortly. She says she's like about a block away, so gonna get that ice cream. I showed you the ice cream place. It's really good. In fact, it's the best in the city. Hey, forgot to show you guys. So yeah, I'm live streaming. We're just watching some uh, some guy tour Asia, and uh, we got the chicken, we got the beans. Good to go. The lights went out in the middle of the broadcast. Well, I guess that's it for me. Nighty night. See you guys again. <laughs> no more. It's over. All right, so another plus of when it rains out here is that it actually cools the weather down. So as you guys have been seeing for the last, like, I don't know, days, it's been like 100, sorry, I'm just trying to open this. It's been like 100 something degrees. So, well, today, you know, since it woke, we woke up with rain and it's been nice and rainy. Oh, I don't want to get too wet. You see, look at that. It's so wet out there. Um, but anyways, I oh, got my feet wet already. Jeez. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Anyway, so like I was saying, it's like, yeah, it's a plus. So right now it's 72 degrees. So it's nice and cool and chill. Look, I even got my pajama shorts on. The reason I wear these is because there's bugs out here, like flies and shit. And obviously when it rains and the certain kind of weather, they come out more in force. So I got to wear these so that I protect myself at all times. Also, it looks, yeah, I get to wear a shirt. It's not that hot. So a lot of pluses, a lot of pluses to the rain. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the thing about the power, I keep losing power. I was losing power last night, lost power during the morning and stuff like that. I, I figured out exactly what it was. Actually, it's just a, something that's going on in my designated area because I have friends of mine that live, you know, just a few blocks that way and in other directions and they were all fine. They didn't lose any power, they didn't lose anything. I think it was just uh, my luck, isolated incident, you know, probably something around here. Shit happens no matter where you live. So, eh. well, well, at least we got power back on now. So, see? So I'm charging everything and I'm about to start working. Uh, very behind today, but hey, it is what it is. What are you gonna do, right? You just gotta keep marching forward. Yeah, not a lot going on today. Just a lot of work. Already got two projects down. I'm gonna take a quick shower, relax for a few minutes, and then get started on number three, which is extremely important. I got a lot to do. 
By the way, yeah, this is my second cup of coffee today already. Sorry, it was really rainy and dreary and, you know, it was just one of those days. Uh, kind of hard to stay up. And I'm trying to finish it now so that it doesn't keep me up <laughs> throughout the whole night. Wah, wah. Yeah, these last couple weeks have been pretty, pretty hectic. As a matter of fact, this week is also kind of hectic in a weird way. I um, have so much I got to do. Um, once I get these things done, <clears throat> it's going to be able to lift this humongous weight off my shoulders that has been... You know, for those that know me, uh, something that's been part of my life for the last two years, and I can't wait to finally just get rid of it. And, um, yeah, this this week is pretty much crunch time more than anything else. And it's just one of those fucking weeks, you know, where it's just everything keeps piling up. You know, I even had uh, some friends contact me, uh, you know, today about Friday and Saturday. So now I got to go hang out with them and do some stuff with them. Long story, but even that's booked. So I have already done so much and uh i just want to finish this and get this done so i can finally be free i know i'm being a little vague but if you guys follow me on youtube or if you guys are friends and family you guys know exactly what the hell i'm talking about texas it's 2 p.m the next day date is officially over later that's right afternoon coffee you gotta get some work done no excuses no time off I got work to do all right back to work this should have been done already by now but now I gotta get to it all right I know my speech not so good right now I mean I know it sounds crazy but you know I, I, of course I'm a little pissed off at myself because I wasn't working and doing all this you know even though like last night was epic epic and awesome and amazing but it, it's just the nature of the beast when you really do love what you're doing and you really do love you know, Yes, that is a hickey on my arm. Enough said. <laughs> I really gotta get back to work, for reals. I should be able to finish this in time. You know, I got a lot of energy. Wink, wink. <laughs> you know, um, where you're going in life, where, you know, if you're, if you're just, you know, um, kind of in motion, you know, it's really hard to stop. And when you do stop, it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to get going. But I'm going, I'm going, I'm getting going. By the way. It's coffee time! I already been up for a little while, just long morning. <laughs> All right, so I just finished today's live stream on the YouTubes. It was a great episode today. Um, actually a little short, but um, an hour. <laughs> I know that's short for me. Um, but uh, yeah, it was really great. And we talked about a lot of really cool stuff, like um, PewDiePie going to D-Live. If you guys don't know what that is, well, watch my live stream uh, from earlier today. And uh, you can get informed on exactly what PewDiePie is doing on DLive. I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's kind of like a little bit of an asshole move to just leave you guys in a little cliffhanger. But if you guys don't know who PewDiePie is, he is the most influential YouTuber out there. And if you don't know what DLive is, it's just a YouTube that is now on the block chain and allowing people to post whatever they want earn money by doing so and so on and so forth and now we have the biggest youtuber ever going to a blockchain cryptocurrency thingy and it's just amazing news you already know what time it is monday morning get that coffee ready back to work back to the grind All right, so I just finished filming uh, t tomorrow's episode, and um, I'm just going to put this away over here. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Been with me for 
Damn, how many years has it been? A few years already. Love this guy. Anyway, so as I was saying, yeah, I just finished filming uh, tomorrow's episode. I also finished filming a few things that I wanted to do for a future episode. And, uh, you know, now we got to get to edit. Back to work. See you guys in a bit. Hey, so I'm about to go to the post office real quick while I wait for this thing to export this nightmare project. It's been taking forever. Um, not just to export, but just the whole process has been a pain in the ass. Everything from, you know, getting the files, putting the files, as I was working, the whole thing fucking crashed, had to recover, you, you know, just, it's, it's just been a fucking mess. I, I can't wait to just finish that project so I can just delete all the files and uh, move on to the next thing because this has just been, wow, what a time killer. You know, it's not so hot out here uh, today, this morning. You know, I, I'm starting to think um, I'm going to have to start running errands in the morning. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be fucking death out here. But it's actually pretty nice, pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot why I don't run errands in the morning. It's because I'm in Mexico and everything here opens fucking late <laughs> So even if I, that's why I stopped going in the morning Some things in its centro, you know, like the market certain places do open early, but for the most part nothing does Yeah, so the reason I'm going to the post office uh, to begin with is because uh, a Friend of mine out there one of you guys sent me a package and uh, you guys forgot the most important part of the address So I'm hoping to God that it's at the post office. Oh wow, they might actually be able to recover it. Fingers crossed. Because when they sent it, they didn't put the right or correct address, so I wasn't expecting a miracle, but I don't know, it seems like they might actually be able to find it. Open. Here's open to it. Two thumbs up. It's just my other thumbs pushing that button. All right, all right. We got good news and bad news. Bad news is the package is not here. The good news is is that it's in the city of Mexico. You know, Mexico City. I mean, and it it'll it has it, it still hasn't been sent over here. But once it gets sent over here, I'll be able to retrieve it. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. So all I gotta do is just go down there to it's another post office, but I gotta go down there and take my um, post, uh, what is it, my, my passport, and I got it. All right, so weather report for today, it's gonna be hot as fuck, all right, because it's still early in the morning and uh, it's already hot as balls. As long as I stay under the shade, it's, it's uh, tolerable, but it's fucking hot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you already know, we out here, we doing it. What are we doing? Actually, I got a few errands I gotta run. Um, and, uh, yeah, taking you guys with me as usual. Um, I'm gonna film. Alright, I'm in my favorite place on Earth. No, it's not Disneyland. It's, uh, you guessed it, the Mart. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Just trying not to be too much of a fool out here, filming myself like a dumbass. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Fucking idiot. I just literally left the, I went, was paying at Walmart and I realized I didn't have any fucking money with me. Fuck. I'm gonna say fuck like a hundred more times. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Yeah, this just sucks because again, you know, uh, time is very important and so, um, yeah, you know, I was just come, trying to come out here to, you know, kill like three birds with one stone and I didn't kill any birds with any stones. In fact, I threw the stone and it bounced back and hit me on the head. Yeah, so I'm literally trying to figure out what the hell am I going to do, if I'm going to go back to the store or not. It's already like 6.30 p.m. By the time I get to where I got to go to pick up some money and then, you know, go back, it's going to be like forever. It's like, what time am I going to get home, you know? But there was definitely something wrong with the other file because right now I'm exporting a file that's like a 25 minute long video. And, you know, it's already moving way quickly, way quickly. Quick, quicker, quicker, that's what I meant to say. And the other one was three minutes and it took like over an hour. I definitely need to invest in a fan, you know, like those big stand, uh, big fans, you know, so I can just blow into this, you know, from this end or some shit like that. You know what I mean, a fan on this end, so I can blow air. Still debating on whether or not to go back to Walmart or not. I uh, guess we'll see, we'll play it by ear. Alright, so I decided to go back to um, Walmart and just bite the bullet um, because the weather's actually kind of nice, it's actually cool, um, still got a little bit of sunlight left, um, definitely high on energy because I haven't smoked and I'm pretty, pretty wired up from not just coffee, but, 
you know, kind of being upset at this experience. So usually um, when you have a lot of anger, <laughs> um, the best way to get rid of that anger is to find something, aka some sort of exercise or some sort of physical activity in order to help you get rid of it. So in this case, it's funny because on the way over here earlier, I was literally making a Monday motivation video for Monday and, uh, you know, again, <laughs> is the kind of shit that, uh, you know, separates the men from the boys. I'm going to do some more walking and more walking and more walking. And we're back. Round two. Oi, vey. Well, I'm already here. Stop being a little bitch, right? And let's, uh, let's get this over with already. People look at me funny sometimes. Yeah, so the best part of having to come here two times <laughs> is the fact that, um, you know, I forgot a few things the first time around, so now I can hopefully not forget them. And we can move and proceed forward. All right, let's do this. So uh, two hours later, and uh, we got everything that we came for. Eh, better late than never. All right, now I gotta get home. I gotta cook, I gotta shower, I gotta eat, I gotta smoke. You already know. All right, 8.15 p.m. Finished cooking. Well, not finished, but at least I got the chicken in there. You already know the drill. Same chicken I cook all the time. So I'm gonna go upstairs, take a shower, come down, relax. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, after I get down here, I'm gonna cook me some of this quinoa to go with that chicken. I use some of that liquid to make that. Makes it even awesomer. And then I got a lot of work to do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Only got one hand here, guys. Cooking time. We got the sofrito for the beans. Here are the beans. Gotta take the rocks out. Beans, no rocks. So that's it. We got the beans in there. We gotta stir them up in a second as soon as I put the phone down. And then we got the mushrooms with the chicken. Well, just the mushrooms and onions now. Chicken comes in a My goodness, it's already like 6.30. The sun is still out because the time change just happened this Sunday. And, you know, up until now, the the sun would be out like at 5.30 in the morning, something like that, 6. You know, so it's a lot easier to wake up with the sun out. Um, and then this morning, the sun wasn't even up until, I think, like 8 o'clock or something. I don't know. Check with me tomorrow for a more exact time. But anyways, as of now, you know what I mean? Like uh, cooking. As you guys can see, we got the beans, we got them going. We got the chicken and the liquids in there. We got that cooking. And when I was checking the time, I was like, oh crap, I'm, I'm about to do my live show soon. But again, I'm not even set up yet. So, you know, I'm gonna be a little late again. But it's okay, it's no big deal. They're waiting for me. And uh, so I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get back to, you know, getting ready. You gotta go take a shower real quick and then I'll see you guys later tonight, live on Twitch. Assuming you join me. Anyway. Hmm. Man, just woke up this morning. And I just realized and found out that uh, they arrested Mr. Julian Assange. Oh my goodness. I can't even... I don't even know if I can make a video about that. It's like they're censoring the crap out of all this. And, um, you know, I just like woke up a little while ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the first thing in my mind was to make a video on this. And it seems like I'm not, I might not be able to. So, damn, man. Yeah, I hate Whew, such a long day today already. It's hot as hell too. Just got out here. Actually, it just started getting hot a little while ago. I just came out here, 
because I gotta go to the centro because I gotta go pick up a, a few things from the market. But yeah, so far very productive day, very productive week. Got a lot of shit done. I'm trying to just uh, go out there, get my stuff real quick, and then run back because I got a million more things I gotta do. But so far, so good. I finally decided to do a video on Julian Assange and uh, it's already uploaded and ready to show for tomorrow and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, we all gotta do our part, whatever that part is, you know? Um, we gotta keep spreading the news, spreading this truth. Alrighty, so I'm on my way back home right now. Uh, got everything, making good time. Just trying to get that exercise, trying to run my errands. Still got a million things to do. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, just uh, took a nice shower, just chilling a little bit now. I'm about to go live in a little bit and have some fun. Just got some news. Well, actually, I think I already told you guys, but um, yeah, I'm going to be hanging out with my friends tomorrow night and tomorrow, Saturday, during the weekend. Actually, um, we're going to be hanging out with some friends tomorrow night. And uh, on Saturday, I got this other friend of mine that we're going to be doing a lot of work, artwork, fun stuff, and so on and so forth. Not quite sure if I'm going to be here or what have you. I think I'm just going to be a little bit off the grid for, you know, a couple days until Sunday. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm sure I'll, you know, uh, post something on here. But anyways, before it gets any later, I'm going to let you guys go so I can get downstairs and get ready for my live stream and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit don't worry I usually always forget but I'll try to remember to do a little one of these while I'm live streaming all right see you guys in a bit you know I think I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of screen time so you guys might be wondering who these guys are well I've been through a lot of adventures my whole fucking life um, literally and um, these two guys this guy right here and this guy right here have been literally through, you know, with me through all these adventures this whole time. This guy I got maybe when I was like 18, 19, 20, you know, my first girlfriend ever. That's where this guy came in. And then this guy was from my high school sweetheart that, you know, we were dating in my mid-20s. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I know it sounds weird now that I'm saying where I kind of got these from. But these, these guys just, um, in a weird way... They have, they, they hold memories to me that, you know, they, ha they have nothing to do with those girls. They really just have more to do with the fact that, you know, these guys uh, have been around just as long as I have and they've survived. So, yeah, we're out here live streaming. As you can see, there we go. We got, uh, can you see it? So I asked my brother Michael to watch the sauce and Karen and I started. Watch the sauce. Watch the sauce. Yep, let me just finish this up and get to bed. Got another long day tomorrow and a lot of fun this weekend. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. You already know we're getting that coffee going. Yeah, man, my favorite. By the way, I was listening to Joe Rogan about the coffee. It seems that espresso has a lot less caffeine than regular coffee. I kind of knew that already, but, you know, they were actually going through some numbers. So when you guys see me drinking all that coffee, don't worry. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. Just like drinking regular coffee in a weird way when it comes to just caffeine status. Anyways, well, today I got a lot of work to do. I'm already kind of behind, you know. I have a lot of shit I got to take care of. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can wrap this up so I can upload it. To YouTube and um, yeah anyways I'll see you guys in a little bit okay so I'm gonna make some coffee well drink my coffee get to work brush my hair put on a t-shirt and see if I can knock all this shit out because I got a really fun weekend and I really don't want to be working tonight or tomorrow <sighs> all right see you guys late alrighty I already got the first video for the first client done now I got another video for another client to finish I also got some paperwork I gotta do uh, but actually I've been moving pretty fast today so hell yeah f yeah dot me and so yeah once i finish uh with all the work i actually have to do then i'm gonna st start downloading all these instagram stories from my phone to the computer so that i can edit them and make an episode for sunday which is my you know the day that i upload the what we call the instagram story day 
So, yeah, I'm not going to be recording tonight and tomorrow. I mean, I might, but that's for next week. All right, so it's like 12 noon, and I got two more videos to finish and upload and send away. So, wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> I got about six hours to finish everything. I think I got enough time. It better be enough time. Because if it's not enough time, then, well, I'm kind of fucked. But I should be all right. You know, just all about prioritizing and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. All right, let me go and do what I got to do. I'll see you guys in a bit. So, I finished pretty much everything on my list. Um, I'm even starting my list for Sunday. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Knocking it out. So, now, pretty much the last things left on my list are I got to upload um, the videos for the weekend. And uh, I got to finish this video, the Snapchat stories of the week, and upload that. So, without further ado, see you guys later. Peace. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed that because, um, yeah, now it's just you and me. Um, that guy, Jose, yeah, he's kind of weird. <laughs>